Hey everybody, today I'm going to do the app review on temperature gauge. So this is the icon right here. And what this app does is it shows you the temperature on your Mac. So <clears throat> this is the little icon up here. You can also get it in a dock mode, but I ha don't have that currently set right now. So um, where the mouse arrow is. That's the current temperature of the CPU, 94 degrees Fahrenheit, and the RAM, or not the RAM, the RPM of my fan is um, 1,998. So, um, in this right here, you can click it. Let's go back up here. So, you have a number of different options to click from here. You can show the temperature RPM window which comes standard when you first install the app where you just get your temperature window right here. You can see it gives you the whole list of all of your different temperatures. You have the CPU, different CPUs, your battery, um, all this stuff right here it has the temperature and there's the current temperature right there. And If you see this black line right there and there's the green. The green is what your temperature currently is, and the black line is the um, is the max it's ever been at, right here. Um, I currently have it set for all. You can choose from your CPU, battery, memory, Palm, Rust, and Thunderbolt for your temperature, and you have the average temperature, which is 90 degrees. And so this is pretty much it right here. So it has the exhaust. The average fan speed is 1,998. So you can see that. And also you can set your, you can reset the max temperatures. And once again, that max is the black line right there. So, <clears throat> that's that right there. And then so we can go back up to here. And in preferences, there's a, oops, there's a lot of really neat features and preferences that I like where the temperature you can choose Fahrenheit or Celsius depending on where you're at and you can up you can choose how frequently you update it and also you can check hardware temp the hard drive temperatures but that might slow your Mac down a little bit what I like is there's alerts here and um, so you can show an alert for uh, when the temperature is above a specific limit where I have it right now set for 151 degrees and the only thing about this is that you don't really get to choose which like which one it is for the temperature so when anything on your Mac reaches 151 degrees Fahrenheit then it alerts you and um, I like how it has an alert on that comes up it's just like a little banner that would usually come up right there so um, <clears throat> you can also have a limit for computer which is nice and at first that didn't really make any sense but I got um, in touch with the company and then so they cleared that up a little bit and then so startup you can choose to start up at login and this is where I made it so you can um, have it in the top icon dock part right there instead of in the dock so I have the menu only and launch that login too you have your log which has a just the log of all the temperatures that you have right here so that's pretty much it for that and then so I always like to check this frequently and then um so you oh I also forgot to show you and here you can choose um I think menu bar right here so for the show temperature which is this right here the temperature 92 degrees Fahrenheit you can choose it and so I just have the average CPU temperature and then show second temperature I don't really have that on show the fan RPM I have that and also if you don't want this you can change it to a number of different things and for the fan RPM it, you can choose your fan or your exhaust and then you can use smaller font too and then show the application icon which is a neat feature too so you can kind of see which one it's for. See that right there? That just went away. That's just the, the icon of it. So, um, 
this is pretty much everything that's in preferences. Anyway, this is pretty much it for the app itself. So, um, you can get this app in the Mac App Store. Right there. For $4.99. I know this is a little steep of a price, but just think, you spent a couple thousand dollars on your Mac, and isn't $5 worth it just to save your Mac from dying and overheating? So, to me, I think $5, it would be really worth saving a $2,000 device. Especially if you're like me, and you love your computers as much as you love anything else. Like, if it dies, it'd be kind of like losing a part of your family. So, um, so yeah, this is the app. Four ninety nine in the Mac Caps for all the link to that in the review. And <clears throat> I want to have a special thanks to people who sent me this app to review. I love it so much. And I really recommend getting this app if you care about your Mac. So, anyway, this was the Mac app review on Tumpster Gauge. Thanks for watching.